what is good friends back here today we are using mega love honey and i don't know if this team is prepared for my shadow but like i just built this team in like a few minutes and yeah we have fist of tangros because love honey is out and it also can take on choice bandit marshadow like it can check it at least it can also take on um choice bandit zygarde with ease uh, besides the toxic, toxic is obviously really annoying. But yeah, this guy also has a lot rocking a lot of honey and no more shadow, which is cool because I don't want to face that broken one. Because like even if it's if the Marshadow shadow is mixed, like my tangles would get blown away by like uh, HPIs. Um, yeah, I have a stealth rock landers elf play to get up rocks versus stall. I have uh, choice Garvney Hiligo, Z move Ladios to kill Oko Toxapex because they stay in sometimes because they think they can live a hit. I will leave the team down below in the description because I know some people always ask for that. And I don't know how I deal with Chansey other than with Law Pony. I just leave with Law Pony and he does the same. The thing is, I don't have Fagot on mine because I just thought it wasn't really necessary. But maybe it would have been a good idea to have Fagot. But I'll just go hard on my Tangrus turn 1. If he goes for Fagot, he will take some helmet damage. As he does just do that. And I can go for a uh, knockoff here. Because he has no business staying in. And if he switches out, I'd love to get I'd love to get rid of some item. If he goes into Roserite, I'd love to get rid of the Black Sludge. If he goes Chansey, Violet is gone. So let's see what he's gonna do here. I assume he's gonna be Z-move Coco or Z-move Zygarde. He just goes for Ice Punch and gets a crit, so And he gets a freeze. So this is why Pokemon is a stupid game. I guess I shouldn't predict because I'm like in the 15 or 1600s and people just don't use their brain here. Because why would you ever stay in with a law pony versus this? But, well, it worked out for him, so what can I say? Um, I just go South Steel here. If he high jump kicks, that's gonna be pretty bad for me. The problem is he just froze my Zygarde check. Um, so now, if this is like a sub Zygarde, okay, he's DD. Hopefully, I can connect my Leech Seed. If I miss that, I'm gonna just forfeit. Yeah, not sure what I'm supposed to do versus this. I go Landris, get up an Intimidate. But I'm an offensive Landris, so if he attacks me, it's gonna do a million. He's Coil. Oh boy, this is not good. This is not good at all. I'll just go for Earth Plate off quick, but it's not gonna do that much. Yeah, it does a good chunk, honestly, but not enough. He has the Berry, which sucks a lot. I go Tangris here to give him Rocky Helmet damage. But now I'm just forced. Oh my fucking god. He didn't give, even care. Oh god. I can't even revenge this now. I think he's just gonna set up more. This might, like, I might be playing this bad, but, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, this guy just locked. Yeah, I don't have a counterplay now. I don't have Faker. There's not much I can do. I'm not gonna cut this out because like I'll, I keep losses in. That's fine. I thought he would set up predicting me to switch, but oh, we eat that up. Never mind. I was but deaf, so I wasn't sure. Oh my god, ten percent. Gonna predict him to DD on my protect. Yep. Nice. And now we actually get rid of it unless he switches or unless he pulls out the rest. Nice. Wow. So we lost all Landris, which sucks. Landris was a good way of... Like, it was my Stealth Rock user. It was my way of... One of my ways to get rid of Chansey. I mean, my Tangrus is frozen, so I'm just gonna sack it, I guess. It does That does a lot, because I'm Fist Death. Um, I know there's like a mixed defensive spread that it can also check Coco better. I might have to run that spread. Um, Enderbus is actually one of the Pokemon that I can use to thaw out on. Like, I can, I can, I have a chance to thaw on this, so... Not sure why he went into this, um... Cause he can't really do anything to me. Yeah, he knocked off my lefties, uh, my helmet. But, like, I can still try to thaw as long as he stays in. This is fine. Um... Yeah, Power Punch is, I think, necessary kind of law Pony. To break through stuff like Toxapex, but I don't even know if he breaks through Toxapex. You probably need some prior damage or some hazards up to kill, like to 2-hit kill Toxapex with plus 1 return. I haven't really run the, any calcs. But yeah, this is really stupid if he has like sub or power up punch and I don't wake up. Ah, uh, man. Like, I don't have any switches, I'm just gonna sack it now. 
I don't know why he ice punched because return hits Larios harder than ice punch anyway. So I can either go to my Nihiligo here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go Nihiligo. And I don't know how good this guy is, but he should go to Chansey, so I'm gonna double into my Law Pony. And if he stays in, I'm gonna click X. I mean, I did what I could, right? I got hexed, and... I'm not out of the game yet, but it's not looking good. So I kinda wanna go for Power Punch, predicting the Mandibus here. As he just stays in, wow. Or goes for Protect, predicting my High Jump Kick. Oh wow, yeah, so I'm just gonna go for High Jump Kick now. If he goes uh, Mandibus, I will see. I probably doesn't do it kill, but we'll find out. He goes Rosa Red, wow. Should have just click Power Punch then, because Power Punch. Power Punch into. F oh my lord. Ah. Power Punch into Frustration would have blown this away. He's Scarf Rosa Red, what? I mean, that's fine, because you forced out, because you locked into Sleep Powder. I don't think I forgot my EVs at home. I'm pretty sure I had 405 speed EVs. Uh, not EVs, 405 speed stat. Just making sure. Yeah, yeah, I make speed up, honey. So he goes out on his own Lopini and I wake up not bad. And his Lopini is dead. And he goes back into Scarf Roserade, which is... I don't really see why this is the play for him. He goes for Sleep Powder again. Um, okay. Can try to power punch here. He's probably gonna go Mandibus. Coco. Um, yeah, I don't have good switch-ins. I go to Maladi. Hopefully no para. So now I can go for my Z-move or I can recover. Uh, I'll probably just go for recover on his predicting his U-turn. Uh, as he just tries to para me. He should go on a chance, he's still not sure. Yeah, why is he staying in? Dude, if you para me, we can't be friends. He already froze my Tangrowth. I mean, there's the terrain, so... Why is he not U-turn? What is he doing? Yeah, this is this guy's example of ladder being trash. I'll just go for my Z-move now, I guess, because it Oko's Tapu Coco if he stays in. But of course he switches, and a chance he's gonna turn that I go for my Z-move. I shouldn't have gone for my Z-move, but... Oh well. Probably go to my Law Punny here and click Power Punch. Another option I had was going Celestila, but yeah, this is fine. I can just pop. We, we wake up, he does not go for Protective, I guess I should have gone for High Jump Kick, because now I'm gonna get Poison. Oh, he went for Wish, okay. Um, let's just go for Power Punch again. Yeah, exactly, because we got the plus two. He's Rocky Helmet, hmm. Pretty sure I can't kill this, but I'm gonna run a Kalk. So plus one power up punched at 19% to Mandibus. Mandibus is actually not bad at the moment because it checks all the it checks the Marshadow, it checks Lopunny. Like <laughs> it checks a lot more, but I can't really think of the months at the moment. Uh Lopunny Mega. And a plus one. A power punch. Why do I not? Oh, why the fuck is Power Punch not in the Kalk? There it is. And it did um, 17. It does 17 to 20 if it's max defense. So I assume it's max defense. So plus 2 high jump kick. How much does that do? Uh, 72. So there's no. Pr 72 to 80 something. No point in staying in here. Uh, I'll just go my Celesteela. As he goes for foul play. The problem is I don't want to lose my leftovers on this. Um, if he goes hard Coco, that's also annoying. But I'll just... Man! Goes in a chancy. I'll just leech it. I take the health. If he goes for wish. I'm probably going to lob Pony here because he wouldn't toxic. Goes in a Rosa raid, okay. So now I can click Frustration. And I assume he's gonna go into Mandibus here. So I go in my Nihiligo. He goes Tapu Koko. 
So, I don't know if Sludge Wave 2 it kills Gen Z from 34, I doubt it. Gen Z was... Uh, near here we go. Yeah, it doesn't 2 it kill. Does T-Build an electric terrain on 2 it kill? Let's say electric terrain. I don't think it does. Thunderbolt 2 it kill, but T-Build? Probably not. No, it doesn't. Yeah, this is bad though, because if he stays in, I'm in a bad position too. So I'll just click Sludge Wave in case he stays in and I got him. I wanted to double switch, like... The only reason I didn't double switch is because it's like... I think I just pronounced double switch like a really weird... But yeah, how high are we? 1550, something like that? Not sure, the ladder takes a while to update. But yeah, that game was unnecessary close, because he like froze my tangros. Oh yeah, this guy has a Mars Shadow, so <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't want to play with that broken one. Um, he's <laughs> not the best rank. So what, we, what we're gonna do here is... Like, I assume, like, this guy has a lot of potential leads. This lead, this could be a 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 lead. Be a lead. Um... Not having Fagot on Lopan is annoying. But I'll lead with Nihiligo because it covers most options that he has. Uh, I don't have HPI so it doesn't cover the Landers. I thought he would lead Zard or Ninetales or something like that. So if he has rocks he can just go for rocks. But he should also fear my HPIs for my Nihiligo so... There's that. But I'll just go Latios turn 1. Because he's not going for like... Yeah he's either going for Earthquake or for rocks. So now he's gonna... Go Megina or Mew on Nine Tails, right? Hmm. So I think I can go to my own Landris here, expecting. No, if he goes Nine Tails, it doesn't help me. I go, I go Celestia here, expecting the Nine Tails. He goes in the Mew, so that didn't work out for me. Uh, why does Mew six on my team? That's a really good question. <laughs> He could be rocks on you, but he's probably defog. I have no will with switch ins, so I guess I have to go Ladi. Oh god, this is a pain. Yeah, I can't even touch this, like, he can just go for recover on my Draco, he can also just go to his fairy types, he can also just dodge. Yeah, that miss didn't even matter, cause... I'm just gonna go, gonna go fish. Oh man, why, why can I not talk sometimes? I'm just gonna fish for a spadaf drop as he goes nine tails. That does a lot, but he's out, he outspeeds me, right? He does not outspeed me unless he's scarf. So I'll psychic again here. Goes back in the mew. I'll just fish for a spadaf drop. I go for uh, not default. I go for recover here. Yeah, my team is not prepared for Mew, I have to do something about this. <laughs> Why is my Mew count a lot, yo? Something is wrong here. That does a lot, I'm surprised. Like, I'm not sold to or anything. I was thinking about putting Marshall on this team, by the way, but I didn't really know what to put it over. But yeah, since I made my Tango's Fist Death, it was AV before on this team. I have to go on a Cell Stealer. And if he's uh, the Thunderbolt, this is a problem. Oh, he's Leftovers. Uh, he might be Calm Mind, so I'm just gonna go for Heavy Slam. Yeah, exactly, predicted the Calm Mind immaculately. So Heavy Slam does more damage than the... Uh, than Flamethrower. He goes for Ice Beam. I don't know if he predicted a switch. But I'm just gonna protect here. He might Calm Mind again, though. He just goes for T-Bolt, and now I'm gonna Heavy Slam again. I, I might have to take the damage, hopefully no para. Nice. So we get rid of the Mixiana, which, which is a big threat, so that's nice to get rid of that. The next problem is the Mew, like I said. How, do, how am I gonna kill the Mew? Um, I think Hartney Healy goes my play here, in case he's Dragon Dance. You might Dragon Dance on my Protect, exactly, and now I can go for Power Gem. I'm Choice Garf, I pick up his Zard. I don't know why he just sacked it. <laughs> he goes on a Mars Shadow, which uh, resists Power Gem. So I'm gonna go my Tangros here. <coughs> 
Easy four spell, he's trying to power me, I think. Um, this, yeah, he does get it. I think that's Choice Bandit. Because that did so much. Like, I maxed the fans, that has to be Choice Bandit, right? Hopefully, I can connect my Sleep Powder. Um, but I'm paralyzed. But yeah, we do connect, amazing. And I can go in a lob Nihiligo here, or... Celestina, nah. His Mew looks so annoying. I wanna go for knockoff in case he goes into his Mew. He just stays in. So we do get rid of the Light Clay. I'm gonna go Lob Bunny here, try to get up on Mega. Oh, if he wakes up, this is bad, but yeah. This works out, we can go for a Power Punch. Because if he goes in the Mew, we can weaken that. And if he stays in, we kill him off, get the boost. So now his Mew is forced to Will-O-Wisp. Which means I can just go into my Ladi, or he just forfeits. Okay, so we take those. I know why the ladder is not updating, we should be like 1580 or something like that. Wait, why the fuck am I so low on the ladder? 1496? So someone sabotaged this account. Pro I was not that low on the ladder. That explains why I'm getting such weird opponents. Let's grab another one. Yeah, we're getting some hard matchups. Oh wow, I, sh I just... I just thought about that I wanted to change something because I was so weak to Mew. But I guess it's whatever. I'll deal with it if I face another Mew. But yeah, this guy is... Uh, 1466. He has Marsh Shadow, he has Toxic Packs and Tangles to check opposing Marsh Shadow. Probably Scarf Tabo Lily. Because he has um, potential Mega Titar and Toxic Packs to check Volcarona so he doesn't have to be. So he can afford to run this as a Scarf. He doesn't have to be Scarf on this. I assume there's gonna be Z move. Um, This is a really annoying matchup, honestly. But Ladios seems like a good lead other than Titar. Now Tangro seems like a good lead too. And I hope if he Sky Strike, I might even lift that because I'm max defense. So I'll just go for HPIs here. Like I'm a max max Tangros, I think I might live a Sky Strike. I might just be overestimating Tangros. Can this guy please move? <laughs> because of the Toxic Pack, so... This might have Toxic, which would be really annoying. Um, but I'm just gonna knock off. He might also be Baneful Bunker, you never know in the low ladder. Yeah, he's T-Spikes, that's fine, because I can go Latios and defog them. The only problem I see here is the T-Tar. The T-Tar can trap me, so... The problem is I don't want to double into Lop on the his T-Tar, because I would get poisoned. So if he's Choice Bandit Pursuit... No, I think he's Mega Tita, I don't think he's Choice Bandit, so he shouldn't have Pursuit on this team. Thankfully he doesn't have Pursuit. Yeah, he's Mega, so phew. Please don't freeze me, I already got hexed this life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He's either going to Pex or his Tangros or he's staying in. Um, I'm gonna expect him to switch though, so I'm gonna double out. I'm gonna double into my Ladi here, expecting him to go in the packs. And I'm gonna Draco slash Psychic. I wanna Psychic Z, but he has a Tita. Yeah, I wanna Psychic Z because he might. Never mind. Let me explain to you why I made that play. Now I, I, I look like a complete noob, I understand that. But usually people try to stay in with the Tox packs to get up a Toxic Spike. Because they know they can live a Psychic. Like, they can live a Psychic, right? So that's th they get up a T-Spike and then they region out, but they cannot live a Z-Psychic. That's why I went for that. Because... Like, I understand that I look like a noob now, but usually how they play, they would stay in, I would go for Draco, and then it wouldn't work out, so I had to make that play in my opinion. Like, I didn't have to make that play, but like, if I, if I Draco and he stays in, I just lose momentum, so that's why I made that play. And it, my prediction basically didn't work out, so it's completely fine. We will move on from there. I lost my Z-move. It's not the end of the world. It's, it's a definitely annoying, though. So I had to pause real quick. I wanted to change up the music, but then because he was taking so long, but so I wanted to take the chance change, and change up the music. But then he came back. Um, I'm gonna sleep out of here, I think, because he keeps going packs on my um, Tangrowth. 
And what we can do now is go Lob Honey. If you if you get a good amount of sleep terms, oh, we can also go Landris. Landris seems like a good play here. He did stay in, so I can get him a Rocks, or I can go for. I can double switch predicting his Landris. I'd probably just get him a Rocks for now. So he goes on those Landris. Um, if I was Z move, I would have gone for SD, but I'm off plate. He's probably just gonna get up his rocks. I'm gonna throw in my Lopani here because he's not gonna go for Earthquake. And the thing is, I don't know if he's gonna stay in. I'm just gonna Ice Punch in case he stays in. Yeah, I knew he would go to Pex, that's why I, I should have gone for Power Up Punch. Power punch would would have put me in such a good position. I'm actually mad that I didn't make the play. But the thing is, if I if he stays in and I go for power punch and he goes for earthquake and he's rocky helmet, I would get blown away. But yeah, I just got for frustration now. He wakes up. That was my fault. If I went for if I went for power punch on the switch, I would have been in such a good position. So now he's not gonna stay in. He's gonna go landers try to get up the intimidate here. So we're gonna s s snipe him on the switch with the ice punch. Finally, prediction it works out in my favor. And that does absolutely nothing. I assume he's gonna go back into Toxapex here, so I'm gonna double out into my Ladi. He's not sacking his Landris. I don't see him sacking his Landris. Yes, we're finally getting the plays correct. And now we're gonna drop a Draco. Predict him to go into Tyranitar. Okay, goes Tangrowth. And we do miss our Draco, which is annoying because we don't find out if he's Fist Death. Uh, I'll just Draco again. I wanna find out if he's Fist Death or AV. So he's a Salt West Tangrowth. That Draco miss was not too too bad because I like he can't knock off any item because I have a Z move and I can just recover on this so I didn't really lose anything from the Draco miss I guess. And if I just went for power punch on a switch to Pax, I would've been in such a good position. Um. I just Draco, in case he goes Tita, I get some chip, or he goes Lele. I did not think about Lele, that was... I mean, it's fine. I did... Like, I have a good switch into Tabo Lele, so I'm not worried or anything. Uh, I guess I should have gone for Recover them. Like, it was pretty obvious that he wasn't staying in, because... He couldn't really touch me, so I should have just doubled. He goes for Psychic, yeah, and there's a lot. I'm gonna leech sheet if he goes into his uh, tangles, that's a good play, but I still get leftovers back. So that's a good play, I'm just gonna protect here. If he goes for a knockoff, that's annoying, so that's when we have to protect. If he goes hard into packs, nice play. And yeah, I'll just go into... I'll just go back into Larios. Yeah, this is a bit tough, man. I, I should I played too safe earlier, where I went for Ice Punch on the... I, will, I don't remember the turn, but I should just have power punched, like I said. Okay, I'm getting really low with my Ladios. At least he's taking uh, hazard damage too. I'll leech sheet because I think he's gonna go Toxapex this time, because last time he went Tangros. I might predict this Tangos and go for Flamethrower. Oh, he just stays in. Um, he's either gonna go Tangros or into Toxapex here. I'll just heavy slam in case he goes Tangros. I got damage off. If he stays in, I got a kill. And if he predicts my leech, see, that's why I thought he would go to this. But yeah, my Steeler is getting low. I gotta be careful. I mean, I know he's a salt vest, so I guess I can go to my lob bunny here. That, that, that's not the play, I don't think so. I just go into my Ladi. He doubles in the top of Lily. I mean, yeah, he outplayed me there, that's fine. I'll just go back into Celestila. As he clicks T bolt, wow, stop outplaying. I don't like t bolting there. I mean, it worked out obviously, but it was super aggressive. Like, what if I stay in with Malari? Like, I go my Hilego here. She doubles. Good play. Do 
Do I go in here like or do I go to Latios? What do we what do you go out into here? You would either go Tangros or you would stay in. So Nihiligo is a good play here, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And now we can I just sludge rave in case he stays in and the problem is now he knocks oh wow he just knocks me out. I forgot about the upgrade. <laughs> I'm not playing this well guys. Um I'll just go Lob Bunny and click Power Punch. And we have Scrappy, so he can't bring his Ghost type and be immune to that, which is cool. He goes on the Landris. Um, I just go for Frustration. He might go Pexy, I kind of want to Power Punch again. He do pick off the Landris. But um, I played a bit too safe in the middle in the mid game of this one. Mm, is he choice scarf? Top lily. This is uh, Celestila. Psychic. Yeah, okay, he's choice scarf. So I suck off my Celestila here. Go to Ladios and click Recover. But I think I'll lose this one. I just Draco here. We do get rid of the Tangers, which is really nice. But Scarf type of Lily is just gonna fuck me up late game. My Moonblast spam just destroys me. I should never have sacked my Nihiligo when I. I regret that turn where I sick Nihiligo the most. But I also needed damage on his Tangros. But second Nihiligo definitely was not the play to make. So I'm forcing the Tangros here. I'm trying to see how I can prevent Scarf Lele from cleaning late game. I don't think I can prevent that. But I get a sleep powder here, which is really cool. As long as I connect. We do connect and... He might go out on the top of Lele here. I'll just Giga Drain. Exactly, he goes hard on the top of Lele, which is a choke. And I thought he would do that because... Like, I don't know why, I just had a feeling he would make that play. That was a complete choke on this guy's part, like... Tapo Lele cleans up at Moonblast late game, I don't know why he would go hard into it. Like, he needs a little bit of chip on my landers and then Tapo Lele cleans my entire team with Moonblast. And yeah, he just decides to forfeit. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, the team will be down below in the description, link to the music is down below, and I'll see you next time, thanks for all the support, by the way. We had like 937 subscribers or something like that, that's really cool. And yeah, that's nice, nice and road to 1,000 subs. Peace out, friends. See you uh, with more content.